everyone, it's Denise with Run DMT, and for this week's Soup Du Jour vlog, I am going to share with you some tips on how to survive a mud run. So first, you need a racer backpack um, to carry all your stuff, and most of the items that you see here on my counter fit inside this backpack. Really, they did. Okay. So secondly, you're going to have to figure out what to wear because that's most important to any stunner runner. And I recommend dark clothes because if you don't wear dark clothes, you are not going to be able to wash out the mud. No matter how hard you hose yourself off, I know people tell you, my clothes tell you otherwise, okay? So you're going to want to wear dark colors. And I wore my compression socks, I wore a running skirt. And I wore this tank top with a pocket. A pocket, either in your skirt or in your top, is important if you want to carry your cell phone. Mine's in a sandwich bag. Why? Because it's going to get muddy, and you don't want your cell phone to ruin. You don't want to ruin your electronics, people. Okay, so the other thing people are going to tell you is to wear old shoes, and that you can't. If you have any sort of injury with your like for me, I have plantar fasciitis. If you have issues with your shins or Achilles, you cannot wear old shoes. So these are the shoes that I trained in for my two marathons. They're pretty close to the end of their life, but there's still some spring in them, and they're not quite ready to go to sole for sole Z yet. So what you do is, after you're done with your mud run, you hose them off really, 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 really well. Like, for a good 5-10 minutes, get all the mud off. You'll just see it draining right out of your shoes. And once the water is kind of, sort of clear, bag them up in a grocery bag that you bring in your backpack. Bag them up and put them in, in and you're going to stick them inside here. Why do you want to put them inside a garbage bag, inside a grocery bag, inside of a garbage bag? Because they're going to they're have cow manure in them. And you'll hose them off really well, but you don't want cow manure touching all your other unmentionables now, do ya? Right. Okay. So, rinse the shoes off really well, save them, put them in your back, in a grocery bag. Okay. So, now, oh, you're also going to want to bring a change of shoes. I recommend flip-flops because when you're in the changing area and you're hosing yourself off, you want to have something to walk in so that you're not walking back and tracking through mud in your clean feet. Okay, so you also, you could bring your flip-flops or you can bring another pair of shoes um, and have these. I left these in the car because honestly I could not fit another pair of shoes inside my backpack. See, I told you almost everything. This was the every, this was the part of that almost everything that didn't fit. So you can leave these in the car and check back in your flip-flops and then put your other shoes on. Okay. So now, you also want to make sure you have at least two towels. A washcloth, deodorant, <laughs> a washcloth and some soap. Body, body wash in the towel section is really good, or bring a jar of soap. You're not going to want to bring this home. You are going to toss this. You are going to leave this and you're going to pay it forward to another runner who forgot their soap. So just toss it over into the washing area and let someone else use it. You need a washcloth. Because that mud, that it, it's going to stick to you. So you want to kind of scrub it off with the soap and the wash. Okay, what else? Towels. Why two? Because one's going to get really muddy. And if you're going to strip down to your skivvies, your underwear, you are going to want to wrap yourself up in a towel and then have this one laying out like a tri area. Um, have one with you in the washing area and have one with you at your stuff in the changing area, um, like a tri setup. Okay, so we've got the two towels, the washcloth, the soap, hairbrush. I also brought body glide because, you know, you want to, you know, get all lubed up <laughs> for the mud run so you don't chase. Okay, you are also going to bring some anti, um, anti wash or what was antibacterial hand wash um, because you're going to be running through cow patties and you're going to be crawling through mud and you know you're not going to get quite um, you're not
not going to feel clean. At least for someone OCD like me, you don't feel clean. So you're going to want to bring some of this to ju just in case. That's all I'm saying. You don't want to end up with uh, E. coli after your mud run. Okay, so you are also going to want to bring a change of clothes, right? Because you've stripped down and you've washed yourself off and you don't want to put your old muddy clothes back on. So, socks for your shoes. Now, a change of shorts, a shirt. This one cute? This one dirty girl. Get it out this past weekend. Love it. Okay, change of clothes. Bra, because I forgot mine. And undies, don't forget your undies. You don't want to be all, you know, uh, born free after your mud run. Okay, lip balm and a garbage bag. You can always stick two of these in there because your friend's probably going to forget first. So make sure you bring a couple extra garbage bags and grocery bags. Um, oh, and about the panties. Yeah, if you wear a running skirt, you're going to want to wear those granny panties because you don't want to get mud all up in your hoo-ha now, do you? No, you don't. And um, anyway, those are my tips. And um, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to help you out any way I can. And I hope you have a fun mud run, because I sure did, okay? And I'll see you real soon. Bye now. Thanks for watching.